Finding intercepts of a rational function. Recall that for any function, the y-intercept will happen anywhere that x is 0, and the x-intercept will happen anywhere that y is 0. To find the y-intercept of a rational function, x must be 0. This means that if the polynomials in the numerator and denominator are fully expanded, the y-intercept will be the constant terms divided. To find the x-intercept of a rational function, the output must be 0. For simplicity, we'll use y and set the rational equation to 0. In trying to solve for x, we multiply both sides by the denominator, and it disappears. So the x-intercepts of a rational function will be the x-intercepts of the polynomial of the numerator, as long as the x value is in the domain. Note that the multiplicity for these x-intercepts will have the same effect as they do for polynomial functions. If r of x is 2x plus 1 divided by 3x plus 4, the y-intercept is 0 1 fourth, the x-intercept is negative 1 half 0. You have seen the definitions of y and x-intercepts as they pertain to rational functions, as well as an example on a basic rational function. You will now be able to apply this to more complicated rational functions.